Hello, I hope you are doing great. Today, we are going to give you a small tip on how to speed up the loading of your Blazor server applications. We are going to see a small tip um, for some of the things that you could say some people are doing. You could probably say wrong when using Blazor server applications. That is actually causing your application to uh, load slower than it should be. So, before we continue, please remember to visit fairplay2.vdicostarica.com Click the Buy Me a Coffee icon and select a donation of your preference. This will help us keep the videos and products free for you. So let's continue. If you see here, this is a Blazor server application, right? And if I run it, well, there are a couple of things that I did modify. And the first thing is that in the service where the data is being loaded, I added a delay of 60 seconds, right? The other thing that I did is that I removed the route from the index page and instead I made I made the pets data the default page. So when my Blazor application loads, it will load on the fetch data page. So as you can see, this is actually taking a while because it is already trying to retrieve the data and the data is going to take 60 seconds to load because I purposely added that code of wait, that wait time code in there. So it looks like my Blazor application hasn't really even started when it actually already has. You can see an example or you can see it better if we comment the retrieval of the data. You will see that it will now try load the application and of course the application load really really quickly because it's not retrieving the data so in blazor server in any call that you have in the uninitialized async method it will cause a delay right uh, if you don't if you are not careful with it now in Blazor server, a lot, of, a lot of people what actually recommend is that for loading the data, you don't use the uninitialized async method and instead use the on after render async for the initial load. So basically, what they ask or what they recommend is okay, override the on after render async method and when you are in the first render, add your data load code. So if the page already rendered, but this is the first time it rendered, then we validate if the forecast for the variable, variable where we store our data is null. And in case it is null, this is a signal that this is the first time we are loading this data for this page in this rendering um, sequence. So we load, or we start the application, we run it, and you will see that my Blazor application will actually load fast 
So I already have my menu, I have my title, I even have the weather forecast title and all of that, and my data is still loading. And after the 60 seconds have passed, you will see the data being refreshed in the page. So this is one of the recommended ways to load data when you are using Blazor server. Remember that Blazor server runs in the server and your data is being processed on the server so there is uh, you're pretty much using the same context or the same um, requests I would say. So you need to be a little bit, a little bit careful on how you do your own initialize so you don't block the rest of the application right so you see now my data already load and it is being shown in my page so i hope this video has been useful thank you very much and please remember to visit fairplay to create your account and click on the buy me a coffee icon and add a donation of your preference have a great day